Since the age of three, a little Mexican girl, who is known as the servant of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary, has received many, many messages from Jesus, Mother Mary, her guardian angel, Saint Michael the Archangel, and many other saints. Fifty of these messages, Mama Mary has asked to be known publicly. Today, we are going to share the first ten messages given to this little girl. Message number one. The way the Lord is going to speak to us on the day of the warning, given on July 29th, 2016th at 8.30 p.m. The Lord is going to speak to us through the light of heaven, referring to lightning in the sky when it rains. When the sky lights up, He is going to tell us our sins. The little girl said, This is the way it has to be so that we realize how much He loves us. Message number two, how we should prepare ourselves in our actions, given on Sunday, August 14, 2016, at three o'clock in the afternoon. We have to live in the truth and leave the lies behind to obtain the love of God. Invite Mother Mary to pray with you, to praise Jesus, that way, we can activate true love. Message number three. What it is to live in the divine will? Given on Saturday, September 3, 2016, at a Catholic retreat in the northern side of Mexico. Who wants to live in the divine will? On earth as it is in heaven? It is in the Our Father. Say it this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The little girl prayed it very slowly, and she prayed it with much love. And at the end, she said, Take refuge in the heart of Jesus. Message number four. The deception of the enemy to prevent us from preparing for the warning. Given on Thursday, September 8, 2016, during Holy Mass at 6 o'clock p.m. The little one says, I am angry with the serpent because it is a liar. A liar. It says that Jesus is not coming. We have to step on its head like Mama Mary did because we are her children. The light is coming. There we will see our sins in our mind and we have to go and confess them in order to have God's forgiveness. Message number five, how to be filled with divine love, given on Wednesday, September 14th, 2016, at 11 o'clock p.m., while praying the Holy Rosary. The little girl said, you must let Jesus touch your heart. That way, he will come in. He will come in and resurrect in you so that you can have the love of God. Message number six, those who will believe and those who will not believe in the warning, given October 6th, 2016. The little girl says, the time is almost here. When we will see the light of heaven, we will all see our sins. We will see it in our hearts, but not all will believe Many will make fun of Jesus on the cross, and others will believe and love Jesus even more, and we will be able to go to heaven. Jesus told me so, and so did Mother Mary. Message number seven, how to save families, given on Thursday, October 13th, 2016. The little girl affirms that many fathers and mothers are going to die with their children we must pray the Holy Rosary with our families for the forgiveness of sins. This causes me much, much pain, said the little girl. Message number eight. What will happen after the warning? Given on Tuesday, November 8th, 2016, at 2.30 in the afternoon, the little girl said, I drew the planet. There are the good guys and there are the bad guys. The bad ones are going to make fun of us and tell us that we have no sins. Because of the Virgin, 
everyone will humble themselves. Message number nine. The angels who will guide the souls. Given to the little girl on Tuesday, November 15th, 2016. She said not to be afraid of the guardian angels when they come. Message number 10. Jesus speaks in heaven. Received on Thursday, December 22nd, 2016 at 6 o'clock in the evening. The little girl is looking up to heaven and says, Little by little, the crown of Jesus is forming. When you are able to see him, he will have his crown of thorns and his mother Mary will be right next to him. Jesus speaks to me from heaven. Number one, every person in the world has a guardian angel, whether Christian or not. It is believed by theologians and is confirmed in the UK that every person receives from God a guardian angel. Number 55. This is consistent with sacred scripture, the teachings of saints Thomas Aquinas, Basil, Jerome, as well as experiences from non-Christians who believe they were helped by a guardian angel. Mike Aquilina writes about such an experience from a friend he knew in his book, Angels of God. A friend of mine, a noted Harvard-trained philosopher, was an unbeliever as a young man. One day he was swimming in the ocean and the undertow swept him away. He knew he was drowning with no hope of rescue when suddenly a strong arm grabbed him and towed him to shore. His rescuer was a big muscle-bound guy. When my sputtering friend tried to thank him, the guy laughed at him and then vanished. This marked a milestone on my friend's road to conversion. Number two, guardian angels are appointed at the beginning of life. As the Catechism explains, from its beginning until death, human life is surrounded by their watchful care and intercession. 
336. This statement leads some to believe, St. Anselm for example, that angels are appointed at the very moment of the union of body and soul in the womb. If true, it is not dogmatically declared and is therefore up for debate. It would follow that women who are pregnant have two guardian angels watching over them and their child. Number three, guardian angels have names, but God gives those names to them. The Catholic Church has instructed us that the practice of assigning names to the holy angels should be discouraged, except in the cases of Gabriel, Raphael and Michael, whose names are contained in Holy Scripture. The reasoning behind this is that a name contains a certain amount of authority over another person. If I know your name, I can call you whenever I want and can feel a certain amount of authority over you. Do not have authority over our guardian angels. They only report to one commander, God himself. We can ask for their assistance or help but we should not feel like they are at our beck and call. The church then discourages us from naming our guardian angels, as we may receive a name in prayer, but it may not be divinely inspired. It could be influenced by the devil or by our own human thoughts. We have only three names of angels confirmed in scripture, and so any other name we receive is difficult to confirm as inspired by God. Number four, we do not become guardian angels when we die. Contrary to popular belief, there is no way for us to transform into an angel after death. When we die, we may be separated from our bodies for the moment, but we'll be reunited with them at the end of time. We don't become an angel while we wait. All guardian angels were created at the beginning of time in a single moment of creation. Remember the words of God to the prophet Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. Jeremiah 1.5 God had a guardian angel in mind for you when he created the world. Number five, guardian angels are here to help us. The Catechism describes the guardian angel as a shepherd who is meant to protect us and lead us into everlasting life. Their chief goal is to help us to get to heaven and we are encouraged to pray to them on our daily basis, asking their help in every need. The church provides us, provides an excellent prayer that can be prayed by the young and the old. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and to guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary, Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass in the divine office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. 
we have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry in our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.